Hi everyone, Janine here. I wanted to give an update. Uh, it is 37 days or five and a half weeks post-op total joint replacement in my jaw, Anna Laforte. Um, today is April 2nd, 2021. And I would say this last week has been probably where I felt the most normal. Um, I've started getting out um, and doing things with my husband's help. He's the heavy lifter. Um, but I did, uh, we built like a little garden. So I, I was doing the raking and um, doing things like that. Just, just little things. Felt more energetic. Felt better to go out and drive. Um, sleeping better. Uh, everything's going really well. Um, I'm still swollen. I still am very swollen. Um, not very, but I feel, I feel like I'm very swollen still right here. And on my right side, which is, um, it, the whole, the right side te is tending to be a little bit more, um, uh, not necessarily sore as much as just more swollen and stiffer. Um, like my scar area is a little stiffer. Um, the scar down here is a little stiffer um, in therapy when she moves it. Uh, but otherwise, it, it my joints themselves don't hurt. I don't have any pain or noise, which is something that some people say that they hear too. I don't hear any noise. Um, my opening right after the surgery or soon after the surgery was about 18. I'm now at about 23 or 24. I'm not allowed to use the Therabyte yet. So um, that is just for massaging um, and the physical therapy that I'm doing now. So um, we're hoping and I know and we know that it's going to increase, um, but really until I can start using the Therabyte uh, and increasing that opening by using um, pressure on the upper palate, uh, then we'll see a greater difference there. I'm still not able to chew. I, um, I, I have two more weeks until my appointment. They had to postpone it for, and it's going to be seven and a half weeks by the time I have my release um, to do a lot of stuff. I'm hoping he will email me back and say, hey, yeah, you can chew light foods like pastas and stuff. But we'll see what he has to say. Um, I'm looking at some notes because I made some notes to try to stay on track a little better this time because I know I get all over the board and I repeat myself. And that's just me. So, um, there, there's been a lot of things, um, that I've had to learn how to do again, like, um, yawning. I would always either protect my yawn or yawn to one side to keep it from hurting. And when I yawn now, I'm, I'm trying to remind myself I can just yawn normally opening and closing um, straight up and down. And there really isn't any pain. There's some stretching because the, the muscles aren't, um, stretched out enough, but there is no pain. It's not like it, it hurt, like it hurt before. Um, so, and how you open, and this seems, this sounds really weird and it's hard to explain, but there, you can open and um, almost, it almost like you, you put your jaw out in, in, normally. But when I open with my joints, and this is just me. I mean, somebody else can have a totally different experience or explain it differently. I don't, I don't know, but this is me. Um, when I open, um, if I kind of just let my jaw settle down and, and almost go back. So I'll do both of them. This is the first one where I'm opening like I... And trying to and, and opening, stretching your head up, looking up is different than just opening with your head straight in a neutral position and just opening. So this is kind of how I've been doing it and I'm finding it's more restrictive. So
I don't know if you can tell that. And then this is opening where I'm letting my jaw relax and kind of go back. And I get a little bit more of an opening that way. Um, neither of them hurt. Um, the first one stretches a little bit more and it feels a little bit more um, tight or, or, or straining or trying, really trying. But the second one, it's just, duh, just kind of opening. That's kind of how it and, it, and I get a little bit more and it's, it's just, it's comfortable. So opening and, and closing, um, really just the opening, I'm kind of trying to relearn that. And I don't know if that's a total normal thing. I do have a little bit side to side. I have a little bit more to my left than I do my right. Um, my right is a little stiffer. I don't know if I will get more to my right. Um, I, I, I do like that I do have a tiny bit um, of movement side to side, which some people don't get any, but it's not like I really notice it that, that much. Um, uh, my right side is still lazy the bottom lip so this this whole area that can doesn't really want to come down uh again it's it's not a huge deal and he, and he thinks the last time i talked to him he thought that that would eventually come back um as of now it hasn't um if it never does, it never does. I'm not um, too terribly concerned. Uh, I'll just have, uh, and, and a lot of people say they don't notice, and I'll just have a little quirk. You know, it's not that big of a deal. And this is part partially because of my braces, but I could do this before, and this is more the women will understand this, putting on your lipstick, very difficult to rub the lips together. So, um, putting on chapstick or anything like that. It just, it feels weird, different, maybe because I, I don't have much front and back. I don't know if you could tell that. Um, I am able to whistle some of the time. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can. We'll see if I can. And I have to make sure my lips over my braces and kind of position myself correctly. My birds and I whistle back and forth all the time. So um, I was really glad that I been able to whistle and the funny thing is is before I couldn't really whistle but I could go I it, it would come out just as a, a breathy and one of my birds has been copying that so a little sweetheart he was he was calling back to me using that um wispier whistle not the true whistle in the same tune but with a wispy so I thought that was kind of cute um, my teeth, I, in, in the evenings, I have to put on bands, just one band on each side to keep my mouth closed. Um, and my teeth, I don't think the back ones are, are necessarily moving, but the front ones I've created, I've got a gap. Mm -mm. Y'all can see that. There's a gap on either side. So my ortho take care of that. He said, um, I'll be in five, six months, um, in, in braces afterwards and he'll, he'll fix that. I'm sure I, well, I know he will cause that they'll get all that straightened out. Uh, so I'm not too terribly worried about that. Um, I am still sleeping slightly elevated, not as much sitting up, but just a little bit. 
enough to where I can still side sleep. And I have been for the la for this week pretty much been able to side sleep for a good portion of the night. Um, but I also feel very comfortable on my back and um, I'm, I don't think I'm snoring because I used to snore bit really bad that my jaw would go back and I would choke and and stuff like that and I don't think my my husband teases me and he says yeah I heard you snore once but I I think he was just teasing I don't think I'm um snoring and I know I'm not snoring like I used to because he says no I don't I don't hear you like you used to um so but being on my back is very comfortable still. Um, on my side, sleeping, sleep, doing it on my right side sometimes gets a little tender and I have to put the pillow up a little higher where the pressure's up here more so than right in this area. Um, just to be laying on it for any length of time is, is it. I guess just kind of gets sore uh, in not sore sore but it gets uncomfortable so but for the most part I can go back and forth um you know most most the night I think I'm sleeping on one side or the other um I don't know if you guys want to see my scars can hardly tell this is my right side so it is a little puffier but here's the scar along there, along my ear, and then the one up on my neck. And this one's a little harder than the other one and um, doesn't quite move as much. But I think those have even gotten better. Um, let's see. And then I went over my right lip. So that's that's probably about it. Um, I am returning to work in 10 days, I guess, because it's April 2nd. So um, I go back on April 12th. Uh, um, so this, I have this one last week um, off work and I'm really glad I took the six week um, and didn't go back sooner. Um, I, I think that it would have been, I would have been really tired, um, a little bit more stressed if I would have gone back at, you know, four or five weeks. But again, everybody's different. Some people uh, can go back sooner. Some people might need more time depending on the severity of um their operation uh if they had a bunch of work done mine was uh six i think it was six hours a six hour operation uh we did the lafort which we didn't plan on doing that before which has made it a little bit more difficult but um again i'm oh and i can't feel the top my top teeth um, they feel like they've, they've been, they're numb or, you know, Novocaine, um, not that fat feeling, just that like it, it's asleep and it's mainly my front teeth, um, up into the ridge of the roof of my mouth. Um, but all my teeth on the top, I can't really feel them. Uh, I have all the feeling in my lips and my face and my cheeks and, and everything else. Um, even this side, it's not numb. It's just not working that well. <laughs> just, just not working. It's a little lazy. So, um, that's about it. And if you have any questions or you want me to go over anything else, um, Please comment below and I'll, I'll be glad to, you know, do a video or, or let you know what's, um, what my experience has been on something. Um, uh, when I start doing the Theravite and stuff like that, I'll do another video, um, and kind of do some updates 
uh, along the way. Um, I hope this has helped people and know what to expect or um, get some tips that maybe I've, I've uh, made something a little easier for you. So I hope that it has done something for somebody positive, which was um, my goal, as well as to document everything for myself and see how far I've come because I forget. So, well, I am off today, running around. I'm going to do some errands, um, and I just, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling really good. I got Botox for my headaches. So, um, that is, it's taken effect a few more days and I think I will be totally headache free. Um, cause I was having headaches every day, 24 hours a day. And the only thing that worked was the super trip tan. Um, which is a migraine medicine and you only get nine of those a month so I was using those uh, but I had stockpiled some so um, I was using those quite often when nothing else would work and I just needed a break from having a, a headache um, and that was probably the worst and I'm hoping I'm still hoping that when Come, come four months or three, four months when I go to get my migraine shots again that I will um, not need them or that I will get um, less like what I did this time. Um, this, this time we only did the front, the top, and the upper temporalis and some up in my crown. I didn't have anything done basically from the eyebrows down um nothing or the you know here temples down so the upper temporalis only and the top so i'm hoping that if i can't stop doing the botox altogether that i could at least do this um lesser amount um to the upper portion only to keep uh, those under control because that gets very irritating to have an, a headache all the time. So I'm hoping that that will be fixed. Um, I have noticed some change in my neck. Um, it feels more aligned in uh, uh, my upper cervical, which um, I was hoping would would be a benefit that I would would have some relief from that and um, again it's it's going back to getting used to things that you know how I hold my head how I sit or um, do things I'm constantly thinking of how to how to do it what's comfortable what is most neutral um, and what it causes the least amount of strain on anything else. So um, just little, little things like that that I'm getting used to all the time. But um, the difference between before and now, no, I don't have the opening yet that I want but the benefits, uh, all the benefits are totally worth it. Um, I'm really glad that I did it. I, it was probably long overdue, but it, um, it needed to be done. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm very glad that I got it done. So um, for those of you looking at Doing something like this, it is a very scary, and there are consequences, I won't lie. You know, if if something like your lip not working, or, you know, um, some people do have eye issues um, where their one lid doesn't work, or they can't move their eyebrows. I can't move my eyebrows because I have Botox, but other people, you know, those things might be, um, 
something that they mind or the shape of their face has changed. My, sh my The shape of my face is a little um, square here. My nose has changed. My profile has changed. Um, I think all for the better. I had my salivary glands were um, constantly showing. Now they're they're tucked back up on there. You can't see them um, like they were before because my jaw's out now um, and they popped back where they're supposed to be. So that was something else. Um, if you are not okay with these changes um, or, or that you might change, be able to change, um, it, it, it's something to think about if you think about it as what's way the difference is okay I might have some changes but is pain in your comfort and chewing correctly and doing those things more important than um, maybe a little something that um, might not be like it was uh, it's still difficult for some people I know I don't want to minimize it for those people because some people really have a tough time with um, the change of their face and the mental um, toll that that takes on people um, and some people are very unhappy uh, I think maybe knowing that going in might help a little bit, but it is something that could very well happen and that you might need to be prepared for if you do this. Um, and of course, you know, seek counseling, talk to somebody about it if you are feeling that way. Um, it, it can be very depressing for some people. So I don't, I don't want to minimize that for anybody that is, that is, or has gone through that. Um, I personally have not gone through it. Um, I, I've been fine and I like my results to date. I'm kind of hoping that some some things don't change. I know that I'm still swollen, so some things still will change, but I'm kind of hoping they don't. You know, I kind of like my, my new look in a way. So I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm really, really happy. I'm really happy I did this. And I'm really hopeful that things will continue to go well. I hope you are having a great day and I hope this helps. Talk to you later.